Joseph Magliocco, born Giuseppe Magliocco. Italian pronunciation, D, Latin small letter as U, modifier letter vertical line Z, Latin small letter open A, P, Ma, Latin small letter turned Y, modifier letter vertical line, Latin small letter turned Y, Latin small letter open O, Co, June 29, 1898, December 28, 1963, also known as Joe Malayak and Joe Evil Eye was an Italian-born New York mobster and the boss of the Profaci crime family, later to become the Colombo crime family, from 1962 to 1963. In 1963, Magliocco participated in an audacious attempt to kill other family bosses and take over the Mafia commission. The attempt failed, and his life spared, but was forced into retirement. Soon after, he died of a heart attack on December 28, 1963. Background Magliocco was born in Portal di Mayor, a frazin in the commune of Missilmeri, in the province of Palermo, in Sicily. Magliocco's nickname, Joe Malayak, came from the word Malak, which meant ruler. Despite weighing over 300 pounds, Magliocco was described as being very energetic and decisive in his work and physical gestures, someone who exuded danger and confidence. Magliocco lived on a six-acre waterfront estate in East Islip, New York. He was the silent partner in a liquor company, Alpine Wine and Liquor, and a linen company, Aero Linen Supply. In 1963, it was suspected that Magliocco was using his clout to force bars and restaurants to buy from both companies. According to Joseph Bonanno, Magliocco was an excellent Italian chef and loved to eat. Magliocco's son, Ambrose Magliocco, was a capo. Magliocco's second cousin and brother-in-law was mob boss Joseph Profaci, founder of the Profaci crime family. Magliocco was an in law of Consigliere and under boss Salvatore Mossicchio, related by marriage to Buffalo crime family boss Stefano Magadino, and uncle to the wife of Bonanno crime family founder Joseph Bonanno. Early years as a young man, Magliocco became involved in illegal gambling and union racketeering. On December 5, 1928, Magliocco and Profaci attended a meeting of New York mobsters at the Stadler Hotel in Cleveland, Ohio. The main topic was dividing the Brooklyn territory of the recently murdered boss Salvatore Di Aguila without causing a gang war. By the end of the meeting, Profaci had received a share of the open territory, and named Magliocco as his second in command, a post he would hold for the next 34 years. When the Cleveland police raided the meeting, Magliocco was briefly detained on an illegal weapons charge. In 1931, the Castellamarese War began in New York between two powerful Italian-American gangs. Both Profaci and Magliocco attempted to stay neutral during this conflict. By the end of 1931, the war was over and the New York gangs were divided into five crime families supervised by a mafia commission. Profaci and Magliocco were confirmed as boss and underboss, respectively, of what was now known as the Profaci crime family. Columbo War in 1957, Magliocco was arrested with 60 other mobsters who were attending the Appalachian Conference, a national mob meeting in Appalachian, New York. On January 13, 1960, Magliocco and 21 others were convicted of conspiracy and he was sentenced to five years in prison. However, on November 28, 1960, the United States Court of Appeals overturned the verdicts. On February 27, 1961, the Gallows led by Joe Gallo kidnapped four of Profaci's top men. Under boss Magliocco, Frank Profaci, Joe Profaci's brother, Capo Salvatore Musacci, and soldier John Skimone. Profaci himself eluded capture and flew to sanctuary in Florida. While holding the hostages, Larry and Albert Gallo sent Joe Gallo to California. The Gallos demanded a more favorable financial scheme for the hostages' release. Gallo wanted to kill one hostage and demand $100,000 before negotiations, but his brother Larry overruled him.
After a few weeks of negotiation, Profaci made a deal with the Gallows. Prophesis Consigliere Charles, Visage, Lo Cicero negotiated with the Gallows and all the hostages were released peacefully. However, Profaci had no intention of honoring this peace agreement. On August 20, 1961 Joseph Profaci ordered the murder of Gallo members Joseph, Joe Gelli, Gio Ely and Larry Gallo. Gunman allegedly murdered Jaoi after inviting him to go fishing. Larry Gallo survived a strangulation attempt in the Sahara Club of East Flatbush by Carmine Persico and Salvatore, Sally, D'Ambrogio after a police officer intervened. The Gallo brothers had been previously aligned with Persico against Profaci and his loyalists. The Gallos then began calling Persico, the snake, after he had betrayed them. The war continued on resulting in nine murders and three disappearances. With the start of the gang war, the Gallo crew retreated to the dormitory. Family boss on June 6, 1962, Profaci died of liver cancer and Maglioco became the family boss. However, the Mafia Commission did not endorse him as the new family leader. Afraid that the other New York families viewed him as weak, Maglioco increased the tempo of violence against the Gallo faction. In turn, car bombs, drive-by shootings, and other murder attempts were made against Maglioco men such as Carmine Persico and his enforcer, Hugh McIntosh. In 1963, with the jailing of Gallo and several associates, the hostilities temporarily ended. Commission plot in 1963, Joseph Bonanno, the head of the Bonanno crime family, made plans to assassinate several rivals on the Mafia Commission. Bosses Tommy Lucchese, Carlo Gambino, and Stefano Magodino, as well as Frank Desimone. Bonanno sought Magliocco's support, and Magliocco readily agreed. Not only was he bitter from being denied a seat on the commission, but Bonanno and Profaci had been close allies for over 30 years prior to Profaci's death. Bonanno's audacious goal was to take over the commission and make Magliocco his right-hand man. Magliocco was assigned the task of killing Lucchese and Gambino, and gave the contract to one of his top hit men. Joseph Colombo. However, the opportunistic Colombo revealed the plot to its targets. The other bosses quickly realized that Magliocco could not have planned this himself. Remembering how close Bonanno was with Magliocco, and before him, Profasi, as well as their close ties through marriages, the other bosses concluded Bonanno was the real mastermind. The commission summoned Bonanno and Magliocco to explain themselves. Fearing for his life, Bonanno went into hiding in Montreal, leaving Magliocco to deal with the commission. Badly shaken and in failing health, Magliocco confessed his role in the plot. The commission spared Magliocco's life but forced him to retire as Profaci family boss and pay a $50,000 fine. As a reward for turning on his boss, Colombo was awarded the Profaci family. Death on December 28, 1963, Joseph Magliocco died of a heart attack at Good Samaritan Hospital Medical Center in West Islip, New York. Magliocco is buried in St. Charles Cemetery in Farmingdale, New York. In 1969, the authorities exhumed Magliocco's body to determine if he had been poisoned. This action was taken based on FBI phone tapings in which De Cavalcante crime family boss Sam De Cavalcante suggested that Joseph Bonanno poisoned Magliocco. However, no traces of poison were found in the body and it was reinterred at St. Charles. References Further reading Bonanno, Bill. Bound by Honor, A Mafioso's Story, New York, St. Martin's Press, 1999, ISBN 0-312-97147-8 Capisi, Jerry, The Complete Idiot's Guide to the Mafia, Indianapolis, Alpha Books, 2002, ISBN 0-02-864225-2 Serials. Enrique the Mafia in Havana, A Caribbean Mob Story. Melbourne, Ocean Press, 2004. ISBN 
1-876175-42-7, Bureau of Narcotics, U.S. Treasury Department, Mafia, The Government's Secret File on Organized Crime, HarperCollins Publishers 2007 ISBN, 0-06-136385-5.